what's up guys this is jeff with another video today i want to show you how to assemble this wooden tv stand but before watching make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it this tv stand have two different color light honey and walnut finish if you want to buy it i put the purchase link in the description section below for you as you see this picture show you the assembled size of this tv stand the dimensions of the package sent to you are approximately 66 inches long by 22 inches wide by 8 inches high and its weight is approximately 136 pounds also this product has one year limit warranty To start, find a clean area like a carpet or cardboard and cut it around the box and take out the pieces from inside and arrange them around you in such a way that you can easily read the letters and numbers on them. Assembling in the manual is a little different from this assembly because I do some back and forth steps based on my work experience so if you want to be in with me in this path, prepare a cup of coffee and get to the work. The required tools for assembling is a Phillips screwdriver size 2 or medium. Also, if you have a drill, the assembly will be done faster. Open the plastic pack of connections and arrange all the parts in such a way that you can easily read the numbers on it. Okay, let's start the assembly with part A and turn two cam screws or part number 2 inside the holes that are placed close to the edge. The screws must be straight and completely turned inside the wood until the edge of the screws. If you use a drill, be sure to put the drill on the lowest power value and, if necessary, gradually increase its number until the drill completely turns the screws into the wood. Install the L bracket or part 16 with two wooden screws or part 15 on both sides of the part A and parallel to its end. Then turn two cam screws or part number two inside the holes of part G that are placed close to the edge. Install two door stopper or part 12 to the part G with four wooden screws or part 13. Pay attention that the holes are pre-drilled and a little pressure is needed to tighten them. Turn six cam screws or part number two into each of the parts B and C.
Now connect part E to part A in such a way that the hidden holes are placed on the right side. In this case, the finish edge part is placed on the upper side. But first, put two wooden dowels or part number three in place with a little wooden glue and rotate the dowels in their place for one turn so that the glue is applied to the all areas of the hole. Connect them with two hidden cams or part number one. To connect part G, first put two wooden dowels in part E with glue, then when the door stopper are placed on the upper side, connect it to the part E with two wooden screws or part number 4. To connect part F, first install two wooden dowels, then use two hidden cams and install them in such a way that the finish edge must be on the top. To connect part D, first install two wooden dowels, then use two screws number four and install them in such a way that the finish edge must be on the top as shown. Turn the middle base or part K in the desired position. Yeah. 
Now put the six wooden dowels in part C or other parts and then connect part C in the right side with six hidden caps. Currently, you can only install 5 hidden cams and the 6th one will be installed after TV stand being placed in vertical position. Although if you have a short handle screwdriver, you can also install the 6th one. Install the L bracket or part 16 to part C with screw number 15. The same part C, put 6 wooden dowels in part B or other parts and then connect part B in the left side with 6 hidden cams. As you know, only 5 hidden cams could be installed right now. Install the L bracket or part 16 with screw number 15. Place the TV stand in a vertical position and install the remaining two hidden cams. To install the back panel, first place the TV stand in a horizontal position and put the two back panel in place. Place the larger part close to the bases and the smaller part on top it. One side of the holes on the back panel is completely round and the other side is a half round. And the half round should be placed in the middle of the back of the TV stand. Place the smaller back panel in the same way. Now two half round are placed together and form a complete hole. Place the holes of the back panel in line with the holes of the TV base 
and connect with the screws number 5. For the best, first install the corner holes so that the rest of the holes line up. There are two handle models that you can install depending on your opinion. Extend to hinges or part 9 and rest of the hinge cups onto the cutouts of each door or part L. Secure the door hands in place with two wooden screw or part 6 in each. Attach one of the handle parts 14 or part 7 to the front side of each door with two handle screw or part number 8. Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. 
Pick up the door and fasten the hinge bases onto the side panel with 4 screws or part 6. When installing the 4 screws, be careful not to tighten the screws completely and after adjusting the doors, then tighten them. Apart from the four screws that connected the hands to the body, you will see two more screws. The first screw near the door is used to create a distance between the door and the body of the TV stand. And the other screw is used to move the door to the inside or outside of the TV stand. Using these screws, to adjust the distance of the door to the top and side of them. If it's not adjusted with these screws, loosen the four screws that connect the hinge to the body, then adjust the door and tighten them at the end. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby I have a taste All the highs and the lows
Plug the cam lock covers or part 11 onto the visible cam lock to conceal the cams. You can install the shelf in three different heights. Insert eight shelf support or part 10 into the holes at the desired height. Then put the shelf or part J onto the shelf support. Remove the paper backing of the stop rail or part M, then properly align stop rail with the top edge of the stopper template on the top panel or part A, and press down on the stop rail to help adhesion. And after that, if you want it, then carefully remove the stopper template from the top panel. When you place the TV on the stand, make sure that the base of the TV is behind the stop rail or part M. This will help prevent the TV from sliding of your stand if your stand is accidentally bumped or tipped. Please be sure to install the safety straps on the wall to prevent unfortunate events. There you go, assembly is done. I hope this video was help you in the assembling this TV stand. Don't forget what you need to do right now. Subscribe, like, and turn on all notifications to be the first to know about the next video. Until next video.
find myself wondering what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward, never turned back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And our team was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Yes, this Something.